Hello everyone, CreeperKiller1736 here. Um, today we will be continuing our Bed Wars content on Lifeboat Games. Um, today we'll be talking about duos. Um, this is the second video in the series. Um, if you haven't seen the solo, um, go check that out. Um, so, duos is a little bit different because you have a teammate. Now, the the deal about this relationship with your teammate is you actually cannot communicate with your teammate. There isn't a way, unless you know them and you're in a Discord call, I can't communicate with my teammate here. So, what you want to do is, it's just like normal Bad Wars, they are a decent distance away. You could blitz if you want, or you might choose not to. So, what you're going to want to do is just play like a normal game, but... They, this adds in the possibility of being tag team possibly because you're going to be fighting instead of one person you have to kill every time you destroy the bed it's two people so you just got to keep that in mind whenever you're doing pvp and i think my mouse just died oh no oh, it's okay okay here we go so i'm gonna get this up on our bed uh, I'm not going to try to disguise the fact that it has clay on it this time. But I'm going to see if I can get some more blocks. And I'm going to run over and see if I can get the team that's directly across from us. So like I was saying, just like normal bed wars, you're going to want to kill the team that's directly closest to you. Except for... You're also going to want to get to mid, because better gear and weapons in this version of the game are very important. If you have iron armor and a diamond sword, you can fight two people. It's very important that you get good equipment versus your opponents, because if you end up in a fight where you're taking on two people, you know, you're going to have a problem. So let's just yeet ourselves down here real quick. Boop, 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 and then up. So I'm not going to stay to fight these guys just yet. I might jump back down in a second. Just do that. Okay, yeah, he's got a stone sword. That guy's got chain mount armor. I think I'll come down. Kind of wish my teammate was here. And you see, this is where if he was here, it'd be nice. I'm going to wave to him here. Hey, buddy. Okay, I think I'm going to go this way like I'm leaving, and then we'll see what they do. Okay, he leaves. So now I'm going to try to drop back down and surprise him. Got him. Alright, and I think their team is done, because the other guy fell, didn't he? Yep, he fell. Alright, so now I'm going to hurry up and get back to our base. So you just got to kind of outplay people. Just, just think what you would do if someone was attacking your base and they left. Would you stay, or... I mean, they should have stayed on guard, but I mean, realistically, you're not. So, that's how that would work. Okay, we we'll grab more bricks. Okay, this is good. So, we're gonna have decent... Oh, we can get an iron sword, too. Okay, good. Are you kidding me? Okay. Got him. Alright, here. Take this. Take all of this. Oh, I don't need to do that. Alright, there we go. It's important that we have all of this, because now that our bed's destroyed, we're going to have to try to... Okay, they're coordinated, they're coming. Okay, so it looks like... So sometimes you'll see this, um, like me and my teammate, we're not communicating to each other. So we're not really coordinated whenever it comes to offense and defense. Let me see if I can get one more break. Okay, so... I'm just gonna, but like, purple seems to be they're staying together. Actually, I think this is pink. Okay, I'm gonna try to see if we can get pink's bed. I do not know where pink is. Oh, they're right here.
Oh boy, pick boy. Iron armor, iron armor. Might be able to get it. Wow, that was easy. Nine gold. Oh my goodness. So now, since he gave me that, I can get better weapons and armor. Um, if you're going to get an enchantment, I recommend getting um, probably sharpness first. But in the situation that I'm in where I could lose... I might lose. You might want to go for protection. Just depends on how you're going to do it. I'm going to go over here and see if I can get Orange's bed. Might. Okay, there's an Orange guy. We go up here. Can we get out? There we go. Okay, he's got Iron Armor and a Diamond Sword. Okay, they're both looking. I don't think they know where I went. Just want to keep mental tabs on them. Did one of them get stuck? I think he did. I think they're looking for me right now. We kind of hop down here. Okay. Just keep an eye out. I don't know where my teammate is. He might not be alive. I don't think I see him. He could just be too far away. I think I see him over there. Okay. They're both over by their bed. You're just going to want to wait for the right moment. Whenever you can drop down, break the bed, and then get out. So let's just see what we got. I only need to break one block on that bed. Let's see. Let's just kind of work our way out over here. Okay, he's putting stuff on top. Does he see me? Okay, I think he sees me. Hey there. Okay. Uh, where's the second one? I don't see it. Oh, snap. Go, 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 well, my teammate is still here. He's still in the game. He might win. He's got an underpull. What's he doing? He might try to finish him off. I'm not going to sit here and watch the rest of the game. I'm just curious. Oh, I think he's going for their bed. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next match. Um, so, like I was saying, like you see right there, I ended up fighting two people. Now, I have a feeling if I just stood and fought, I might have been able to win. Instead of running like I did. So, you just got to kind of... Okay, Town One. Town's a good example of doing this. It's, it's usually a favorite. I play Town a whole lot, but you just gotta be ready to fight two people. Um, that's a different style of PvP whenever you fight multiple people. Um, sometimes it's easy because they're not skilled. Sometimes it's harder. Uh, another tip for duos is... Oh my goodness, there's someone already coming over here. Okay. I gotta go get their bed now. Oh, he's gonna get our bed, okay. So like I was saying, this is blitzing. Okay, they're dead. So we just started off, we don't have a bed. Oh my goodness, everyone's bed's being destroyed. Okay. So I'm gonna go over here. We need to get as much iron and gold as possible to win this. We might still win. Okay, here, let's see, okay. Pick. Okay. Let's just work our way over here. So now I don't know how my teammate is at PvP. I've never seen him fight before. So we're gonna wanna 
You're gonna want to help. If you see your teammate fighting and he's in trouble, go help him. Our target right now is every bed that isn't broken, and they are going down fast. Okay. This is probably the qu that was probably the quickest blitz I've ever seen, like, in my life. There's literally only two beds left, and they're over here. Oh, and I got clay on it. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can go to mid and get some gold for some enchantments early. Early enchantments might be something good to have. There's a lot of gold in here. Okay, that's four. Let's see. Oh, this guy. I think this guy was here already. He might have picked up the other eight gold. I might try to build up here and see what he's got. If I kill him, I'll get his stuff. Oh boy. Let's see if I can make this jump. Nope. Drop all the gold. Okay, that was not a very good jump, but we'll go to the next match. Um I'm not being a very good teacher right now, but um So the the point is is it do it is a little bit harder than single. It's a lot easier to win single. Halloween's another blitz map, so probably gonna lose our bed really early again. I mean, each map has its own unique player. I can't really show you how to play each map. But, as you can see, they're literally only right there. And I never noticed there's a shulker box here. Okay, we need to get stuff on our bed right now. That's good for right now. Is this guy an enemy? Okay, good. He's not. So let's see. There's a bed right over there. So I can literally jump right across that other bed right there. It's really just right there. I mean, look, look at how close this is. I mean, I can literally jump across to it. Where's their bed? Oh, it's already destroyed. Okay, and then there's also, like, pre-built roads, but let's go. We don't need this iron. Let's see, are there any other beds around here? This is purple. There's one, it's reds. Got red. Okay. Might win this. This is looking pretty promising. Come someone. Oh boy. Okay, got him. Let's just keep moving. Don't need all this. Whoa, I didn't get armor. What's that about? Okay, here's another example. Do not make your bed defense out of glass as I've been on. So, I mean, you can see it's really ineffective. These dumb developers on these servers. This map is terrible. Got him. There's my bed. You can't get in the shulker boxes. Oh, there's two of them fighting me. There we go. So, duos is really hard, actually. I might end up playing three games, four games. Yep, okay. So, it, it's just really hard because you're fighting... If you go on these solo runs, you're fighting two people, then if one of them has better gear, you're already fighting someone who has better equipment and gear than you, at, but you're you're trying to fight two people, so it, it's just really difficult, but...
but you know, whatever. So let me think. Uh, you just kind of want to get as you want to gear up armor and weapons wise as fast as possible. I mean, defending your bed's important. That's the main goal of Bed Wars. But the good, a good secondary goal is maintaining control of uh, mid. If you can get like in solos, not so much because if you destroy their bed, then they're kind of crippled and you know. But like if you get like iron armor, diamond sword, it's enchanted. You're pretty much unstoppable, especially if you have a bow too with a bunch of arrows and clay blocks. You're pretty much unbeatable. So we're just gonna. I'm gonna hurry up because I know how fast that last time. What this meant to last a little bit longer. I'm gonna get some wool. We're gonna put it on the bed. Okay, so my teammate is a blitzer. So this is where it's good to have a duo's partner. So he's gonna go, and I'll follow him. I'll be with him. I don't even think anyone's over there. Is there even a bed over there? No, there isn't. Okay, so there's no point. So I'm just gonna get a stack of wool here. I'm gonna get a sword and a pickaxe, and we're gonna go to mid. So. Okay, so if you build a bridge over here, that's good. Joink. Okay. So let's see if we can get that early gold. If you can get some sharpness and stuff on your swords. Oh, nope, there's already someone here. It's an orange guy. So now, odds are, if I, I need to kill this guy over here. I don't know where he came in. Looks like he came in over here. Maybe if I can catch him before he gets on his bridge. There we go. I should get gold. Maybe? Nope. Okay, so he actually didn't get any gold. That's weird. There's already some missing. Another thing you can do is just destroy their bridge. It's like, I don't want him coming back to me. I can just... Just do that. Now he has to go get blocked. So, I know I don't have to worry about that for a little bit. No one else seems to have built a mid, so I can just kind of farm gold. Well, if I get about 8 gold, I can afford protection and uh, sharpness. Or 2 levels of sharpness. So, once you get some protection, so even your base armor is increased, then you're, you're pretty well set up. Even if you're just running around in chainmail. Uh, I think if you have protection 1, chainmail is almost as effective as iron. I think it's still a little bit. Because the, the hierarchy of armor in here is leather, chainmail, iron, gold, uh, not gold, uh, diamond. You can get diamond armor in this, but it, it takes a ridiculous amount of gold. And you can upgrade. Uh, I, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but you can upgrade these generators for uh, 16 iron. You can upgrade them to level 3. It's like 16 iron, then it's 32, I think. But if you do that, it just makes the production a little bit faster. Uh, I mean, it, you could do it if you want, but if you're like trying to grind to get diamond armor, which looks pretty impressive, uh, you could totally do that. But I generally don't upgrade them unless I, you know. So I'm gonna get this and this, and that leaves me with six. So I'm gonna get protection, and then I'm gonna get a bow for one to get. And we'll get 16 arrows. So let's see what we got here. There we go. And I'm going to get a little bit more wool. So now I'm pretty well geared to go. Because like we saw that last game, that guy destroyed me with the uh, iron armor and the diamond sword. Like, I couldn't fight that. He had everything was another level past me. So, we're going to upgrade our pickaxe. And... Uh, that ought to do it. Alright, so let's go. I don't have that many arrows, so I need to kind of take it easy. Good job. Okay, so our teammate seems to be focused more on uh, our economy. So I'm just going to put the gold over here. You want to, if you ever get knocked off of a map and you have gold in your hotbar, immediately throw it out. Try to get it off of your person. Because if you die, you give all the resources to someone. So... Okay, I'm going to go back, get some stuff, and then, uh, okay, so, let's see what we have. Oh, this is a nice bridge. Okay, good. We go over here. Got to get a oink, oink, oink. Okay. That. Enchanting. We're going to get this, and then we can get this again. 
Now, special items, there's a couple different things you could get. Uh, bridge builders, this puts a bridge down for you. Alarm, it lets you know whenever someone enters your map. Skeleton turret, golden guardian, pretty self-explanatory for the town of skeleton. And landmines, basically, uh, they try to run up close to your bed, it blows up. Then an ender pearl, but I'm going to get a rescue platform. I don't think I've showed these yet, but keep one of these handy. Uh, it puts a slime platform down underneath you if you fall off a cliff. Very useful. So if someone knocked me off, I could... If I fall down there, I could save myself, basically. So let's see if we can go get dark green here. Make sure no one's behind me. We'll go up. We're gonna go over. So it looks like these guys have been fighting the whole time. I don't think any of them have gotten, like, anywhere. So you see now this team, they've been fighting this whole time. I might be able to snipe one off the bridge, it'd be funny. Just shoot this guy. <laughs> it's like, where'd that come from? Hit him again. Let's see if I get him again. Right there. Oh, no. Boop. Okay, I'm gonna build over to this tree here. Because they obviously don't have a bow, because they haven't been in the center. So they shouldn't have any gold. So I know he's low. got me. Alright, drop everything. Okay, well, that, that really sucked. But, um, so, I'm gonna see if I can go finish them off. Uh, like you see, I still have my protection. So, I'm good there. Uh, let's go over here. Um, let's get out. So, I still have my sharpness. Two sword, which does six damage. I think that's the same as a stone sword. So, I still do the same amount of damage with a stone sword as I do with this. Oh my goodness, there is so much gold here. No other team has been to me. I think, like, everyone's been wiped out almost immediately. I might try to get diamond armor, but, I mean, this will get me right back up where I was whenever I died. That's sweet. Oh, I didn't go. Why am I not picking this up? Oh, my game lag. Okay, so, let's go back here. We'll get our stuff, and then uh, I'm going to go finish them off. So those guys haven't been to mid yet. They're probably defending their bed, like, gear and all wise. So let's see, let's grab some more stuff. I'll upgrade my pickaxe. I'm actually going to get a gold, this. Iron pickaxe. And I'm going to see if I can get some shears, because I got a lot of wool. Get some shears here. There we go. So that's good. Then I think I'll get like a special item. I think we'll get a landmine. I'll show you what these things do. So, so whenever you put this thing down, I'll just put it right here on the bridge. If someone runs across the bridge, it'll it'll blow up in their face and then it'll launch them. So it could launch them off the map, you know, stuff like that. So but I'll give him this iron and use it. Okay. So let's go over here. Let's see. Let's see what we got. I might attack across the bridge here. Like, go across here to this iron. Oh, he cut us off. So it looks like red is in mid now. Gonna go across. Got him. I don't need this. Just fall? No, he's building a bridge. Okay, 
wait, where that other guy? Okay, he's coming back. Got him. And your turn. And die. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, let's grab some snowballs. Let's steal. I'll grab some of these because I don't have any. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can work our way across. I think I'll go after red next. Red seems like a good color. Oh no, I think they're on our side. Yep, they're over there. Okay, let's let's get let's get this guy. Doesn't need to be messing around with our stuff. He's got a diamond sword. Do you think I can do anything? Hey, come back. Got him. Alright. Okay. So we have, uh, I'll give this gold to my teammate just so he has some. And then uh, I think I'm gonna go destroy uh... Uh... Oh, he's good. Okay, uh, I'm gonna make a bow and an ender pearl. I have enough. All right, here we go. So this I'll do the trick. I'll put all this other stuff. I don't. Oh wait, I gotta make sure. Let's get some more of this. Okay, I'll put the rest of my stuff in here, especially this player compass because I don't know if I die. Like I mean, I might die and I might not get to use it again. So just do that. Do that. We'll put all this stuff in there. Okay, let's go. So it looks like red is the last main power. So as you can see, since I have this decent armor and weapons, uh, I can basically it's just about, I can basically fight and not have to worry about getting killed. Okay, there's red. That's right over there. I'm gonna get on their little island right here before I go over. Get okay, right here. Right there. Hello. Game. Oh, all my diamonds are back. Okay, there we go. Um, so there's still a purple guy. So now I need to go back to my base because I need my player compass, and then I can find him and finish him off, and then win the game. So this is how Duos was meant to be played. Uh, the first two games I didn't do all that well for some reason or another. Uh, but let's see. Let's, uh, one thing I'd like to see them add, maybe they could put this in sometime, is like if you spend one gold, you could buy a player compass. That would be really cool. I think that would be an interesting feature. So let's just grab that and let's go. That might grab some walls and we'll some steel just for some time. Let's see. Put this. Let's go. Okay, so let's go looking for the guy. So he's this way, probably on his map, like in a little, little hole in the ground, if I had to guess. So far, I've only died once, which is not bad. I don't see anything. So he's, he's probably up there. He's probably AFK. I think he's gonna come back. I'll just probably burn him to death. We'll see how he likes that. Yep, he's in there. Yeah, that's totally it. I wonder how he's still crouched. Here's what we'll do. We'll build out. Can I reach the bottom? Okay, good. Let's build out this whole pit right here. I'm going through way too much trouble to kill this guy. This, 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 this. We'll set the bottom on fire, then we'll drop it into it. Is he building up? Yes, he is. Oh, snap. Okay, that could have backfired so bad. That's what I get for trying to do some fun. Okay, he lived again. You get another angle on this. Yeah. 
Let's let it over here. I right, would we'll go up and see if I can burn it. So that ought to burn it now. After a minute or two, of course, this server runs on like zero ticks per second, so. Let's see if I can get it. Let's see if I can go up above him. I didn't think he was still in game. It sounded like he was AFK. Got him. Alright. So, 9 1 2. Not the worst. This game, uh, this video turned out to be a bit longer than I expected because we don't play more games. But uh, as you can see, uh, you don't have any contact with your teammate, so you know you just gotta kind of uh, do what you can. And uh, I think I'm gonna sign off here. Uh, looks like me and Timer Spore did this. Uh, so that'll be all for right now. Um, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. Uh, me and Kushi. So uh, we'll uh, see you next time.